Hi everybody, welcome back to this week's Outspoken Wheels on Wheels. My name is Joan and this week I am leaving Tucson and heading to the desert. And this uh, video is going to be kind of a two-part video. It will be just me trying to find a place to park for the night and the second part I'm just going to show some of the uh, flowers that were blooming in the desert when I was out here. This was probably two weeks ago. So this is a spot that I found um, on my way before I went to Mexico and I was coming from Yuma. I wasn't quite ready to go all the way to Tucson. Um, I needed some time to do some editing and other things and so I stayed at this site and so this is me trying to find another spot at it. Uh, now that I was back from Mexico, I was trying to find a good spot to park. So this is just me pulling in, looking at different spots, um, trying to find a spot that would be good to stay for a couple of days. One thing I'm learning is that you kind of look for spots with, you see back just a, a few frames back there, a campfire pit. Um, I think you're not really supposed to drive off the roads. They want you to kind of stick to the roads. Um, at first I didn't really know that, so you'll notice here I'm kind of not really on what would be considered the road, and I'm kind of paying for it. I'm kind of scratching up the side of my van too. so. That wasn't the greatest idea. You just ran across the road back there. A wash right there, and it looks really deep. Like if there was water, I'm sure it would be fine. There's a fire pit there, but it's too public. The road's right here. Close to the road, and there's some garbage there. I don't want to have a mouse problem. Suppose there might be more spots, but I don't want it. It looks pretty open over there.
scratching my man up. No. Easy last time. Let's see, somebody's got a sign there saying private property. I just looked on the US Public Lands app and that is not private property. This green icon is an app that I use. Um, when I'm driving down the highway, sometimes I'll see some campers off in the distance. So I'll check my app to see whether it's some kind of like um, BLM land, Bureau of Land Management, or um, some other kind of public land that you're allowed to park on just to make sure that it's not some private campsite or something. Um, this was not BLM per se, it was called Monument Land or something on the on the US Public Land app. But I find that app really helpful. I'm not sure why that video ended so quickly. It didn't actually show the spot that I got to, but that road is the one that I was down um, to get to the spot that I chose to stay for the next few nights. Um, you gotta stay tuned for next week because I got quite sick one night. Um, so I'll tell a little bit about that next week and just, I guess, a little bit about um, the days that I stayed out in the desert. Um, You'll just have to come back next week to see what's happening next week. Um, I'm going to leave you right now with just a few shots of the desert in bloom. Uh, I'd never been in Arizona when the desert was blooming like this and it was very beautiful. So I've got some pictures to leave with you for the end of this video. Enjoy. <laughs>